So I got a problem. Boat A is 10 miles north of the lighthouse and is going south at 3 miles per hour. Boat B is 10 miles west of the lighthouse going west at 8 miles per hour. And I'm asking you, how fast is the distance between A and B changing? And it would be right then at that instant, okay? So what I picture in my head before I go too far is this. All right? I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can see it. I see a lighthouse here in blue, and I see boat A, I didn't label it here, going south at 3 miles an hour. I'm going to call that Y. And I see boat B over here going west at 8 miles per hour. I'm going to call that horizontal distance. And everybody, this triangle, I hope at this instant you see this. X and Y are changing, so we have to use variables there. I'll call it D. You could call it Z. doesn't matter. I know that dx dt, I know x is getting bigger, so that's positive 8. I know dy dt is getting smaller, so that is negative 3 from my picture. I am looking right now, and I happen to know that x and y are both the same, they're 10 and 10. You remember your 45, 1, 1, square root of 2? I know d then too, to make the math easy, that's why I picked it. So I know D right now is 10 squared to 2. But that blue stuff isn't needed right now until I do what? I write an equation on these variables in the variable. So I have D squared equals X squared plus Y squared. And in our head right now, we start checking. We're looking for, uh, and D, 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 T is the unknown, right? Just as, how fast is this between change? We're looking for this. We know dx dt, we know dy dt, we know x, we know y, we know d. Boy, it seems like we should take a derivative of this, right? With respect to time. Okay? So I think I get 2d. So I took it with respect to d equals 2x. And I took it with respect to x plus 2y. And I took it with respect to Y. Three terms all have the number 2. Let's divide by 2. The less numbers we have, the less chance of mistake. Alright, I get 10 square root of 2 times d d d t equals, okay, x is 10, dx dt is positive 8, y is 10, dy dt is negative 3. I get 50 on the that side, and I don't feel like rationalizing today, so I'm going to write d, 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 t is 50 divided by 10. You guys agree that's 5 over the square root of 2 miles per hour, and I don't know, that'd be a de I suppose, you know what, instead of getting the decimal, I suppose I will rationalize, and that's the rate of change. And think about it, the distance is getting greater between them, even though A is going towards the lighthouse. This should make sense to us because B is running away from the lighthouse faster. Does that make sense? Everybody kind of feels right. You know, the sign of this makes sense. All right. Now I'm going to keep going with this problem because this is one of the ones you guys don't like. What if I add a variable A in here at the same instant when X and Y are both 10? What if I put A here so the angle from both B to boat A. And I called it angle A. That's a mistake, but I I want this angle in here between B and A. Alright? I mean I call it theta. Alright? My question is how fast is angle theta changing at this instant? How fast is the angle changing right now? So it's the same word problem, right? That's a crappy picture. I'm going to walk through this. Well, the first thing we're going to work on is I don't want you guys to get used to using, if you don't have to, I don't want you to use D right now, even though I am positive. Uh, at least I think I'm positive that I got the right answer. All right? I would much rather use the variables given in the original word problem. All right? So the question is, what do we want to use here this time? Tangent. Guys, you got to see that y and x and theta are all related to tangent. So we write that equation. How fast is angle theta changing? Tangent of theta is 
y over x. And then the million dollar question, what do we know? We know x, we know y, we know theta. Right now it's 45 degrees. We kept the triangle simple, right? 10, 10, 10 squared is 2. Did that on purpose. We wouldn't need to know the angle, so we're not going to use the angle. We're going to use the original triangle here in a second. Because we know these lengths, right? All right, so here we go. Should we do the quotient rule? We really don't want, we can. I don't really want you to. I tell you what, when you have trig, there is no reason to bring up the x and do the product rule. This is one term, right, everybody? And I can rewrite it as I did in the red. And I just think the product rule is easier and less prone to errors. What's the derivative of tangent? Secant squared theta d theta dt. All right. I always do derivative of x first. So I look at the product rule here and I say it's negative 1 x to the negative 2 times y dy dt or dx dt plus derivative of y is 1, right? x to the negative 1 dy dt. I feel like it's plug and chug time. All right. Except I want to make sure we see this. And this has always been a challenge for us at this point. I know x is, if I start filling stuff in on this side, negative 1 times 10 to the negative 2 power times 10. The x dt was positive 8, all right, from the problem above, plus 10 to the negative 1. The y dt was negative 3. D theta dt is what we're looking for. That's the unknown. And now seek it. I don't particularly think of seek it. I think of 1 over cosine squared. All right, so here's cosine squared. So I go up to this triangle. What's cosine? 10 over 10 squared is 2. And actually, immediately I'll cross out the 10, right? So it's 1 over squared is 2. I'll use the ratio, guys. I won't use my calculator. Got some math to do. 1 over square root of 2 squared is 1 over 2. Flip it up. This is 2 d theta dt. Again, that's just math. Negative 1 over 100 times 80 plus negative 3 tenths. So I think it's negative 8 tenths plus negative 3 tenths. And then so I got negative 11 tenths times by a half, right? d theta dt would be negative 11 twentieths rad per hour. And now we have done a problem that has not only Pythagorean theorem, right? Pythagorean related rate, but also one that has a Theory related rate. We'll try to practice those more. Again, these just take practice, guys. Problem. Oh.